musician Amy Winehouse, actors Philip Seymour Hoffman, and Corey Monteith all suffered from a serious heroin addiction. This heroin addiction eventually cost them their life. Drug addiction costs Canadians over $8 billion annually in healthcare, criminal justice, and other social systems. So how do we treat this issue? One of the major obstacles in treating addiction is relapse, with up to 80% of addicts relapsing within their first year of abstinence. So what triggers relapse? There are a variety of factors, and one of them is stress. Stress can come in various forms, and some of these include dieting or food restriction. Food restriction during a period of abstinence can actually increase drug craving and therefore lead to increased relapse rates. So what we know is that both natural rewards like food and drugs of abuse like heroin activate the brain's reward circuit, but we don't know how they interact to re lead to increased relapse. So the aim of my thesis was to investigate how food restriction can increase relapse in an animal model of addiction and what's happening in the brain during this process. First, we train rats to self-administer heroin. Once they acquire stable levels of heroin intake, they undergo two weeks of heroin abstinence or withdrawal. During this abstinence period, some of the rats are food restricted while others are left satiated. When we bring the rats back to that original drug environment, we see that those food restricted rats show dramatically higher levels of heroin seeking compared to the satiated rats. This heroin seeking is akin to relapse in the human condition. What we also saw was that there were changes in the hormones that signal hunger and satiety in those food restricted rats. If we block these signals of hunger, specifically in the brain's reward circuit, we could actually decrease heroin seeking in the food restricted rats. So in summary, what we found is that food restriction during drug abstinence can increase the risk to relapse, and by blocking signals of hunger in the brain's reward circuit, we can decrease this risk to relapse and hopefully lead to novel treatment methods for relapse and addiction.